Health care workers in the UK are expected to receive the first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine tomorrow. But here in the U.S., we still have a wait ahead of us. News 8's Brandon Lewis has more on how the vaccine will be distributed here in the county and how it will be prioritized. Barbara Lee and Marcella, certainly there is a lot riding on this vaccine. We're still about a week away from distribution. So tonight, we want to explain who is going to get prioritized and how some health conditions may affect who goes first. It's, it's just incredible, actually. The United Kingdom will become the first Western nation to distribute a COVID-19 vaccine on Tuesday. Pfizer sent the vials to hospitals after getting the go-ahead. To know that they are here and we are amongst the first in the country to actually receive the vaccine and therefore the first in the world is just amazing. I'm so proud. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration will start to consider giving emergency approval Thursday. That would make 40 million vials available nationwide, enough to vaccinate 20 million Americans by the end of the year, since it requires two doses each. Healthcare workers and nursing home residents are among the first. Then, in January, begins Phase 1B. That's 87 million workers with essential jobs to keep the country running. Next are more than 153 million people over the age of 65 or with high-risk medical conditions. That now includes obesity because researchers believe an interaction between fat cells and COVID-19 means obese people are twice as likely to be hospitalized, 74% more likely to end up in the ICU, and 48% more likely to die. The U.S. and individual states still need to weigh in, but the focus now in California is on frontline health care workers as nursing homes call on governors to quickly provide residents the vaccine. If the governors and public health officials are able to do this, we will save tens of thousands of lives in these facilities. It is a staggering statistic that less than 1% of the COVID cases in the United States have hit people in long-term care but over 40% of the deaths have occurred there. San Diego County expects to receive about 28,000 vials of the vaccine in its first shipment. That's scheduled to arrive next week. Those doses are enough to vaccinate about 14,000 healthcare workers.